Uh, <clears throat> so, they say that today is something called Veterans Day. It's spelled V-E-T E-R-A-N-S They don't even know what the fucking thing stands for. Uh, they think it's the men with the guns that went into some kind of combat. The word combat, they don't know what it means. C-O-M-B-A-T. Uh, that is where you are stat com and arrow com with the communications <laughs> at a like really core sense of understanding. Do any of your veterans have that? I don't know. I don't know any veterans on this side of the ocean. Uh, the land mass that I live on, if there's water on this side, sigma left and sigma right, there's no veterans. Zero. I mean, I see them on the TV. <laughs> I have no idea what year. I mean, it's not in my lifetime. There's been, my, my grandfather was the last veteran I ever met, my nono from Italy, and some of his confidants, I suppose, comrades on this side of the ocean, but that was like 1980-something. Since then, I haven't met a single one, and I won't give the name. Here's the thing, you veterans, you're really like an interesting bunch because you get angry, but um, I don't really care. Here's You think like you have this conglomerate of like the establishment, like we each have a share because we are someone special in some Mickey Mouse sticker project with stickers here and badges here and honor and power and... Right, yeah, okay, got that. Right. No, I guess on some level you all have some share and stake in something, but um, I'm stuck in the shit house and the shit box, America, you all fucking built that I fucking hate. And it's been under attack for several generations, I warned you all, thinking I could earn some good valor and favor with some of the shareholders in the establishment. Clearly, I was wrong on being able to count on anything human, because you all let me down 42 more years since Lewis and Linda were not veterans and they were not even communicable. Like, you can't even speak to them to rely on them. They are such fucking pieces of shit. So, as humans. <clears throat> so now, I just put up uh, for Al uh, Albania. Albania is Alba. A-L-B-A. -A. The Easter Egg Epsilon Delta. Uh, and then it's Nia. N-I-A which is salt water talk for crocodiles and alligators that wrestle um, in this color for one purpose, which is the act and the zyben and the happiness ring that they were looking for in the two-headed dragon. There's a open three chain on the one side and a open four, like he's got muscles on, but there's only half of him on the right of the same double headed dragon or raven in Odin territory. Then on the left again, you have the eight. Oh my gosh, it's the double egg, right? Yeah, that's the double, like the two of them, right? Look at that. In the tour of their life, T O R, right? That's like a godly thing. But in veterans, you guys take tours, right? You get deployed, you take a tour, right? Yeah. How was your tour? Like, is it like rock star? Like, you learned a lot? I sure hope you enjoyed your fucking time because you complain a lot. Um, all right. So while I'm fucking stuck here, with nothing because your friends in your establishment of shit bags that have shares and shit when I asked for a tour out of America they wouldn't fucking let me out so go fuck yourselves on, Amer on American like Veterans Day assholes 
Uh, then I've got on the other sigma side, there's another eight. Um, actually, there's a seven for the Zyvon. And then underneath that is the sigma, but the six is pointing back towards his, his lady. I put that up on Facebook. I don't know. I might have to walk you through it because your combat and your veterans, I don't know that they passed their communicative skills in this generation. And I don't know if old generation, old world passes it to the next gen of all area, dumb, fucking, and useless. I haven't fet it, met an American who's been like smart or able to speak about anything useful. Now, I also put up, um, I did on the color wheel, uh, the Alba flag that I, the Alba, Al Albania flag that I found was very red, R-E-D, like rot, R-O-T, uh, like blood, B-L-O-O-D. Uh, I wanted, with when we said my lady and I, in like the 1930s or 40s, when we met with Antonio over in Albania, uh, in some, whatever, Hitler and I, in some... Um, uh, army uh, uh, veterans office when men were men and the veterans were reliable in the establishment uh, we uh, did some kind of um, notarization of paperwork that it was to be more of a, the word plum p-l-u-m in case uh, something you know in case one of us falls into trouble we have a one outside veteran source we could rely on if America is not as great as everybody says it is. It's not as great as anybody ever said it was. I'm locked in prison away from the love of my life. In case you didn't get the message in 1940s. Now, I don't get what takes so fucking long when we prepped for this, guys. One mission. And there's nobody in America that's alive. I haven't seen any. There's walking things, but... I don't know who they are. It's not like there's friends over here. And if they are, they don't say so. Uh, let's think, what else do we have here? Uh, oh, so right, 254 Peconic Street in Ronkonkoma. Uh, when I had to bring Alexander James, I was pregnant. When I had to bring him home from the hospital and pretend Jason Romer was the father. <coughs> uh, the kitchen, Cucina, was painted plum, P-L-U-M. There are several witnesses that know that it was plum. Um, and that was for Alexander James's honor with Albania and his fa and his vater, not the Jason uh, American asshole that you assholes fucking forced me to be raped by for I don't know what was it seven eight years that before until I finally got away from him. I mean, it's fucking amazing how you I'm a veteran and I'm so important. I save a Honor, valor, really, because there's one woman that she was a kid and we could have saved her from being, I mean, there was like a Jessica Lynch, I think. She got like stuck in enemy territory, raped and so, and then she got like parades and, and lots of media. Was that the same time frame? I was born in 1978. I don't know what year you all are living on, what calendar, what source. But, like, I saw, like, a whole lot of, like, what they thought were heroes to get her out of that in some sandy, arid vacation. But, for veterans, anyway, I mean, it's vacation for veterans. They say that they like to see things and do things and adrenaline junkies. Yeah, right. And then the rest of them are like, oh, I don't want to do that. I want to play video games and drink beer. Right. 
Yeah. And then the other ones are like, no, I want to play with numbers and other people's money for a living. I don't want to get put my feet in boots. I like leather crocodile shoes instead and really tight ankle pants and like ball huggers then call myself really, I'm a fashionista. Yeah, well, I'm a fascist motherfucker. I carry a gun and I fucking hate you. <laughs> well, okay, anyway, uh, yeah, I still have humor. Oh, let's see. Um, yeah, so this is really fucking sucks. So happy Veterans Day to, like, nobody ever since, like, I'm the pet and there's a vet that's looking for me and apparently there's nobody useful anywhere in the world within our lifetime. It's like, hmm. Really? I mean, I thought that we would have had this handled better. I, I mean, we prepped. P-R-E-P. I don't know. Like, surgery. Yeah, for, like, oh, fuck, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, and it has every fucking day that I've had to wake up and be an American. Um... Yeah, we're gonna leave it with that one.